Welcome to Fleetbeat, iCabby's customer conversation series, where we chat to companies all over the world about what's going on in and around their business. I'm Frank Sims from the customer success team in the UK, and today I'm delighted to be speaking to Phil Hamilton of 365 Taxis in Belfast. Hi, Phil, how are you doing? I'm good, Frank. What about yourself? How are you keeping? Not too bad, not too bad. So let's crack on with a couple of questions, shall we? Yes, sir, no. How did uh, 365 respond to the COVID pandemic? Well, Frank, at the very start, it was a shock for us. We knew this was coming, but we didn't know it was on the scale that it was. Um, As the manager of the depot, um, I was inundated for drivers who were self-isolating or cahooning. And I was really worried when I seen the number of vehicles that were um, handed back from drivers wait to see what was going to happen and what we done is at the start we were unsure how we were going to measure what was happening but a great tool that you have insight give me a daily rundown of exactly what COVID was doing to 365 taxis all right that's really good so what short-term goals are you working towards and how are you going to achieve them well, I think we have um, three goals, sir. Um, Frank, first of all, we want to try and get the our job numbers up because the more job numbers that we do have, it, um, it sort of entices more drivers to come back. And also that great thing, automation, Frank. So I think on the three, it would be job numbers, driver numbers, and to increase our automation. And is there anything else that you're doing in the business to improve your automation? Well, uh, we have invested in the iCabby Voice Plus, which has been absolutely fantastic. And also what we have done, um, Frank, is we have the new passenger app um, for our customers. And what we're seeing is our automation has increased um, 10% last week. Last, last weekend, Frank, we increased our automation by 10%. That's absolutely fantastic. I've never had automation as high um, since introducing the M2 new products. That's really good news, and I'm sure that's reducing your staffing costs at the same time. Yeah, and we still have, like most firms, um, Frank, that we still have um, staff on furlough. Um, we are probably roughly between 60 and 70 um, percent back to our full operation. But again, there's no need for all the staff to be back just at this minute in time. And the automation is really helping us keep the doors open. And is there, uh, is there anything good come out of COVID? Well, I think what it's done, it's been a reality check um, for us, um, for someone who runs the business having to do the all-nighters. Um, for instance, it's given me a better insight of exactly what the customers wanted um, during COVID. I think COVID has been a learning curve um, for our firm. Um, I think what we've been able to do is introduce the iCabby Voice Plus. It's encouraged more um, people to use the card on the passenger app. So, I mean, there is positives that came out of uh, a pan- pandemic. Yeah, and I, and I think I've seen some literature where you're giving drivers good advice on, on being staying safe themselves, doing PPE, uh, hand cleaning, cleaning of the vehicles, etc. How has that gone down with the fleet? It's gone really well. It's basically, I mean, we've done it in two ways. We've used one of your partnerships. We've used the portal, um, which we invested in. Um, couldn't have came at a better time, Frank, to be totally honest, because what that also does, it allows us to communicate with the drivers that's not um, fully back yet. So it gives them an idea of what's happening. But our most important thing was our social media, putting it on social media and letting our customers know that traveling by a taxi is your foremost and safest um, form of um, public transport and basically that gives us two audiences it gives us our, our audience which are our customer to give them confidence to book us and it also gives the drivers who were maybe thinking oh what am i going to do here am i going to come back i give them fully up-to-date information so they knew exactly where the business was at the stage where they were going to start back and are you sort of starting to see a recovery of, of the passenger stuff since the the recent storm and changes Oh yes, um, greatly. Northern Ireland now has opened pubs, restaurants, still some restrictions with hairdressers. Queuing for a barber, Frank, me and you don't need that. But um, what we're turning around saying is we've seen a, a 
the insights, I can't speak highly enough, Frank, of the insights because the insights basically has told me that on Friday there, we had a 40% increase in work from last Friday. And on the Saturday, we had a 45% increase. So where we had the steady stepping stones, we've now seen a spike in our job numbers and we're probably about 60 to 70% operational. So absolutely um, fantastic to see. And the great thing is we can measure this now, Frank. It's not me guessing and working out with a calculator. All the facts and figures are in front of you and the comparison tool and insights is absolutely brilliant. So that gives me a better insight to see where I was pre-COVID to where I am during as we ease out of um, these restrictions. That's really good to hear. I'm actually looking forward to coming uh, back to see you when when the borders are open again. Oh, definitely. And Frank, uh, you have to laugh at this one. It's the only time in Belfast during lockdown where you could wear a mask and wear gloves, get stopped at a police checkpoint, not get arrested, but get waved on. That's a result. That's absolutely <laughs> brilliant. Well, thanks very much, Phil. Um, and I hope to see you very soon. No, no problem. And thank the Insight team. And if there is anybody out there who doesn't have insights, I would urge them definitely, Frank, you know what I mean, to get the insights because for us, we're able to see the complete uh, effect that COVID has had on 365. And also it shows you how much we're recovering now. Lovely. Thank you very much for that. And I'll pass that on. That's great, Frank. Take care. Stay safe. We're all in this together.